Hey everybody, I'm Edward Muñoz and today I'm here in Burton Burton and I want to show you that love is in the air. Du -du 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 -du. I want to show you guys this beautiful air field design, 100% air. Are you ready? I'm ready. To start the design, we need to make two quads, one big and one small. In this occasion, I want to use the sizers that in case you don't have the twin sizer machine, you have any inflator at home, you can use the size and that will be easier for you to recognize the size. First, we need to make the big one. I will use 11 inch balloons and I will size to nine. When you need to tie two balloons together, remember stretch the neck and wrapping around two times. One and two and tie. Here you have a duplex. You have to repeat this process one more time. When you have one duplex and you have the second duplex, just put together on the center and twist two times. One and two. That way. You have the bigger quad. Now you have to make a smaller quad. For the smaller quad, we will repeat the same process, but we will use the size number six. Now, when you have the big quad and the smaller quad, we have to tie it together. If it's easier for you to work in one table, on something stable, it's a good idea. Put the bigger quad on the bottle. Take any neck the balloon, the bigger quad, and sit on top the small quad, always holding the neck, the big quad, going to the top. And here you will tie with any neck the balloon, the smaller quad. always stretching the neck because that way you guarantee the smaller quad is tied to the big quad. This is your base. Now, to hold or make a weight tie on the center, a water balloon. The next process is to start working with the double bubbles. I love those balloons. They are easy to work with. They have two inflation points. They have the letter A and the letter B. We need to start with some air on the letter A. When you have some air on the letter A, we need to start with some air on the letter B. Remember, the bubble balloon can be filled with helium or air. Now, when you finish work with the letter B, we need to complete the letter A. Remember, the bubble balloon need to be filled with air or helium until all the wrinkles disappear. We can cut it this extra ribbon because we don't need it. Take one 260 balloon, cut it in half. Stretch the 260 and start running down all the neck that are bubble balloon. When you get in the neck that are bubble, you tie two times. One and two. Stretch the 
piece the 260, put it on your base, and you will tie around the, your water balloon. Like this. This can be a design, but you know me, I'm, I like the complicated stuff. That's why we need to add more balloons. For the next step, we have to use a grip tab. The grip tab will help you to tie one bubble with the next bubble. And now to hold the two grip tabs, we will use packing tape. With a piece of the 260 balloon, we will tie around the art grip top. And now we make our connector from that bubble to the next bubble. But between this bubble and next bubble, we need to make a six inch quad. with the 260 that way now we will sit on top the other bubble but Look how beautiful and tall this is getting. We can add more balloons. For the next, we have to put other grip tab on top to finish our beautiful designs. I air fill this beautiful panda foil and we take just one piece, the 260 balloon, a stretch, wrapping down all the neck, tie two times, it's the same process like we did in this part, in this part, okay? And now we have to tie on top. Look how beautiful our design. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, Valentine is the best season for decorators. It's time to make money. If you want to see more videos and you want to learn more, you can go into our YouTube, Burton Plus Burton. Thank you for watching us and see you next time.